it's your fluffy pants here. Today, guys, another video, and I just got back from watching Hobbs and Shaw, which is the Fast and Furious spinoff movie, which you know stars Hobbs and Shaw, uh, which are played by The Rock and Jason Statham. So you know, action movie stars. And uh, a little bit of background for me in the Fast and Furious movies. Uh, I will, the only one I've ever watched was Fate of the Furious, and this is the only other one I watched. So. You know, I'm kind of fresh to the franchise. I need to watch all the other ones, to be honest. But um, first part's going to be non-spoilers, and the second part's going to be spoilers. Uh, there is some interesting spoilers, but it's directed by, you know, which I, this, you know, kind of got me excited for it. directed by David Leach, which, you know, directed Deadpool 2 and was a co-director on the first John Wick movie. So, you know, that was pretty cool. But Hobbs and Shaw is about uh, Shaw's sister, uh, gets like this virus in her that can you know kill everybody in the world she gets it injected into her and you know uh, everybody's after it and it's like this evil bad guy organization which is trying to you know find the next evolution of humans and trying to upgrade them and all which has Brixton played by Idris Elba um, he's pretty much uh, he says himself he's black Superman pretty much he's got like he's like <laughs> they even call him like a Terminator at some point because he's got like a metal spine in him and all and he's like working for this evil organization like epidon or something like that i forgot the name of it but uh pretty much they're just trying to upgrade humans and you know uh the next step of the human evolution which you know so he's pretty much overpowered because they had to do that if they wanted somebody you know to really rival uh uh the rock in a movie i guess uh you know go physically toe-to-toe -to -toe with him which is uh, kind of cool but I mean, this movie is just, you know, a really fun action movie. Like, I heard that about a lot of Fast and Furious movies, and really for the eighth one, that's really what it is, is a fun action movie. And this is, you know, definitely doesn't disappoint, especially if you're looking for that, especially if you're looking for a Rock and Jason Statham movie. I mean, this thing's got some really fun action, some really creative stuff at some points, like uh, Brixton, which he's got, like, this robotic AI bike, and it's really awesome, some of the s stuff they do with it. Like, he slides and the bike comes. It's, like, really cool throughout the movie. Um, You know, some... It's really more the second act that, you know, is, you know, kind of the weakest part for me, which is where they go to Russia. They go to Russia at some point in the movie, to, you know, to get something. I'm not going to say what or whatever, but they go there, and that part kind of drags a little bit, but, like, there's, like, the action scene in London and then the in-action scene in Hawaii are excellently done. But, I mean, this movie is just a fun action movie. Um, if you, you know, if you, you know, like the Fast and Furious movies, you're like, you know, just want an action movie, definitely go see this because this movie is definitely well worth it. So, I'll probably give this movie about a 6.8 out of 10. It's not my favorite, but, you know, I really enjoyed it. I mean, it kept me entertained throughout, but now we're going to be transitioning into spoilers. So, if you haven't seen the movie so far, you know, going to back out because there's some, you know, interesting stuff in here that can be spoiled, spoiled for you. But, um, you know, I guess we'll first start off with, uh, I guess first we'll talk about some of my, you know, my favorite moments and action scenes from the movie. So there's a whole chase, car chase action scene in London. I think this is like the end of the first act or somewhere in the first act, but um, pretty much uh, Brixton and his team, Brixton and his team that are really like awesome. Like there's, you know, their outfits and all is just really, really cool. But um, they try, they break a, or they uh, kidnap a, what, uh, whatever uh, Shaw's sister is, I forgot her name, but uh, they, like, kidnap her. You see it in some of the trailers, like, they're, like, w like running down a building, and, you know, and then after that, it goes into a full-on car chase with some, you know, really awesome stuff with his bike, which is really awesome. And, you know, those are pretty good action scenes. And then the whole Russian action, the action scene in Russia, it, it, I mean, it, some parts are good, some parts are bad. Um, most of it, though, is just kind of a car chase. It's not as good as the one in London, but... It's it's good. I mean, it's not not my favorite, but you know, you got some shootouts in there and all. But I don't know. I just really wasn't feeling that scene personally. And they, if you're wondering, the reason they went to Russia is because they wanted to get the extraction device to pull the virus out of uh, what's her face's name. I forgot her name again. Sorry, but uh, they they go there to do that. And then probably my favorite action scene out of the entire movie is where they go to Hawaii with the Rocks family, and uh, you know, or not the Rocks family, but uh, Hobbs family, and they do like a whole final stand kind of thing, uh, where you know they they're like got got clubs and spears and stuff, and you know they're uh, going against the guns, but they deactivate the guns. But that's pretty cool. And then there's like 
probably my favorite scene out of the or sequence out of the entire movie. There's like a chopper and they got like a tow truck and the tow trucks connect to the chopper and then like all the other tow trucks come in. It's really awesome. It's like hanging over the cliffs and all, but then it gets stormy for no reason at all really quickly. And you know, there's like a whole final fist fight, which is pretty cool out in the rain after the chopper crashes. And you know, that's probably my whole favorite sequence out of the entire movie. But there's also some really interesting cameos. Like you got Ryan Reynolds in the movie for some reason. Um, and I think they're setting him up to be like the next big bad guy, even though in the movie he's kind of like the you're, you're just thinking of him as the good guy, but some of the end crap scenes, you know, kind of make him think that he's like the leader or some part of the organization that they're going against. Because at the end they said, oh, there's a new virus and it's even worse this time. So, I mean, they they got him in there and even Kevin Hart makes a cameo in the movie. I don't know, but like I said, I, this movie is pretty enjoyable. Not my favorite, though, so I'd probably give it a 6.8 out of 10. Um, you, you know, it's a fun action movie. I mean, what do you expect? But that whole Hawaii sequence, I mean, that is just awesome. Like, that whole action scene, I loved it. But, um, anyway, guys, uh, leave your thoughts on the movie down below. Um, also, check out my Twitter Discord link in the description. Like and subscribe for more. Check out some other videos. I'll see you guys later. Bye.